everybody, this is Louisa with the LA Paper Studio and today I am going to be making a card. Um, actually, I'm going to be making um, a lot of different tags and the reason I'm doing this is because I, I mentioned um, in a couple of videos ago that I've been running low on my card stash and then the more I thought about it, um, I realized that most of the gifts that I give out or whenever I need, I really need a card or something because it's going with a gift. Most of the time I'm putting it, um, the gift is going in a gift bag of some sort and even if it's being wrapped, tags are so helpful and so so useful and also they're so quick and easy to make. So I decided to make a lot, whole bunch of tags for both uh, in both girl and boy colors so that they could be a little bit more versatile and I could just grab one real quickly whenever I needed one. So I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do these tags in series. I've used a few different um, tools for my stash. Um, <clears throat> I created this tag and I will put the free printable, it's going to be available on my blog to download. I will make it available in Studio File and very possibly a PNG. Um, it's just a tag I created very easily with a circle and then I just did some indentations up and down and I, and I repeated. So it's a small tag and, me and measures about um, three and three quarters by two and a half. But it's a really good size if you're just going to put to and from and uh, just a little bit of a sentiment um, for the gift. And then what I've done is that I've also cut out, I wanted to use um, my stash, my pattern paper stash and my cardstock stash because we have, if you're a crafter and you've been doing a lot of projects, you would be, sir, or you're probably not surprised at all uh, then that you can accumulate so many uh, so much pattern paper left over from projects. And if you've been, if you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, you've been watching my uh, videos, you you would have seen that I've been working on a lot of projects, especially mini albums. So they let they leave a lot when you buy a whole pattern paper stack. They you have a lot of left over. So I used some of my pattern paper stash, and um, this is just random. And I chose I'm doing 12 tags, and this randomly happened to be this way. But when I ended up choosing all four or all all 12 pattern papers, and these are all different. They ended up, I ended up grouping them by hues. So this is more yellows, pinks, and then blues and greens. And then I chose uh, the this teal, yellow, and green from my paper stash also. So I have four of these, four of these, four of these, and then the same on the pattern paper. And then 12 of these little ovals where I'm gonna put the to and from to put on the back. And then for the uh, for these ovals and these scallops, I used my Spellbinder dies just because it was so much easier if you have little pieces of paper than having to coordinate it with my silhouette at the time. I just didn't want to have to go and put 12 of the different ones and parse them out for my mat. So I just used my Spellbinders. But for these, I just used my silhouette to cut it and it was super simple. I just needed half of an eight and a half by 11. So four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of paper and then for this one I did end up using a 9x9 nine nine, so you would probably need a 12x12 12 12 and then trim it down, oh, I'm sorry, 10x10 10 10, and trim it down 2 inches both ways. And this will yield you 12 tags. So a very inexpensive project. I've also done for the inside of, to put on top of these pattern papers, I've done two of each and I chose, um, these are just cut by hand and these are just gifts, just some squares and rectangles and then I glued them together and I put some thread, embossing thread to do the bows and then I cut the this teapot out and then embossed it, try to give it some flair and like I said I did two of each. This is a cute little um, birthday cake from uh, Cricut. I believe that one's from my um, it's either Stretch Your Imagination or Simply Charmed. And then I chose these cupcakes are from the Silhouette Studio Store. And then these balloons, I believe, are from the Silhouette Studio Store also. And then I have these Jolie Boutique um, stickers. And you can still find them at Michael's and Joanne's. I see them. They're one of the normal collections just because they're so generic and so cute. And they're just uh, cones. So... 
these are this is everything that I'll be using and um, I also emboss the tags I ended up using Swiss the Swiss dots embossing folder from Cuddlebug and then the stars one from Paper Studio and from Doris which is a brand that Joanne's been carrying I use this um, musical note sheet um, embossing folder and then I use various embossing folders for the actual um, little stickers that I, I'm basically creating myself. So I'm going to go ahead and get started assembling all of these and um, when I finish, I, I'll put it in fast forward so when I finish you'll see all the tags put together.
about half of them you can use you can definitely use for males so I would say these um, I would say all of these six ones you can use for males it's just birthday cakes and gifts and balloons and then um, the colors are rather manly and I tried I did try to plan it that way so where all my pink my pink colors I use together um, and try to separate them that way and then on the back like I said the ones that got cut off I just added this button so you end up with a really cute um, tag that you just can hang from a gift and I wanted to give you also a sneak peek of what the gift that I made I made this, um, I wood burned this board earlier this week and I didn't do a tutorial because I have done one before. I used my silhouette to create this and um, I can try to put it in a studio file. I don't know that I would um, because these knives here are free and I'll put the website um, on my blog and probably on the YouTube channel at the bottom. It's it's a great SVG. Um, it's actually not even an SVG. It's, it's a PNG but it's all black and white so it's really really easy to trace and it's all kitchen utensils and it has over 40 of them. So I chose these two knives and put them like this and then I chose this is uh, Courier New font and it comes standard with Microsoft Word or with Microsoft I should say and then this one is fog lighten and I downloaded it and I'll also put the name of the font and the website where you can get it and I just created this little um, decal here and I used my silhouette and my vinyl to sketch it and then I just took a wood burning pen and burnt it onto the wood so this is one of the the gifts that is going into the bag and that's kind of why I needed the gift tags because I've, I've, like I said, I've been low on my stash of cards and it's just a little bit easier to put a, a gift tag and then just put the to and from, especially for birthdays where um, it's not like a sympathy card where you're, there's definitely a lot that you want to say. Um, not that you don't want to say a lot on a birthday, it's just it's a little bit more generic. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy... Um, this process and it, this gives gives you lots of ideas. I definitely would recommend um, making these. It's very easy. It's very inexpensive. Um, these stickers I used because I had already bought them and they were in my stash. But then the rest I didn't want to have to buy Jolie stickers because they can be quite pricey. I just wanted in. I wanted to make my own at my own size, my own um, theme. So uh, I use. I kind of use the images that I already have and cut them with cardstock and as long as you assemble this that first everything else comes pretty quickly together. So I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to check my blog for the free tag and for the fonts, um, font links and also for the studio file of the from the kitchen of part. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this inspired you.